What is this guy building? <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Is he is he just is he just playing with the drill? damn fine cup of coffee good morning welcome to the channel it is 45 degrees out it's gonna get a little bit warmer today up to about 65 hopefully we are going to be going on a short little adventure to a local campground and we're going to camp tonight and test out some gear so come on. all right everybody we are on our way out to the campground now this campground isn't exactly the type of place I would normally go camping at it's over by the interstate uh, it's mainly an RV camping site but they have several tent sites the upside is it's pretty close to home so testing the gear tonight and uh, and getting a feel for it is is really pretty easy to do I'm gonna head out there do what I got to do it's uh, this sounds crazy but it's hopefully going to rain tomorrow it's kind of pretty in here because that's kind of what I wanted to I want to test. I want to test kind of how the whole thing kind of handles um, weather that's not exactly perfect before I go do the Southeast Adventure Trail this summer or uh, early fall. But I'm out here kind of taking a back road. I could have took the interstate and been there in like five minutes, but uh, I wanted to get out and ride some, man. It is a beautiful 60 some degrees right now it's warmed up a little bit since we last chatted and uh, the sun's out and uh, I'm enjoying kind of being on the bike but I'll bring you in when we get to the camp and uh, I'll show you kind of how I have the bike loaded real fast I'm not going to go into depth on that and then uh, set up camp all right guys so I promised you I'd show you how I had all this packed up it's a small little uh, camping adventure, so I don't have my, much packed, but most everything is in this top bag. That's a tent, my whole sleeping system, um, a few other things. So yeah, tent, camp chair, um, sleeping system, and my uh, camp shoes. That's a Toratec. Um, waterproof duffel all right so in this case here got bag, got clothes dry bag of clothes and I just throw a book and that's it and for clothes that's mainly all just night clothes because I'm gonna wear the same jeans and stuff tomorrow otherwise that would be the bag that had my toilet toiletries my clothes and all that and in this case because I'm only you know 10-15 miles from home I don't have all that because I'm just gonna run to the house in the morning when I get done and this bag here is my kitchen and my whatnot drawer I got this uh, bag when I bought a uh, <clears throat> power tool and some food and then here I've got a pair of clothes that always goes with me this bag always is in my bike and it has water a towel a uh, cook stove first aid kit a pair of clothes a survival knife uh, a lock for the motorcycle an emergency blanket things like that poncho this always is in that saddlebag so the only thing really i added for going on this trip was i threw a bag of clothes and my right pannier and then uh my camping bag, which almost always stays packed, except for my sleeping bag that I pull out of the stuff sack and let it hang loose. So, guys, that's really all there is to it. I'm gonna set up camp here. I will show you uh, what I got so far. Yep, I just set up the tent. There's a uh, fire pit here. I don't know as if I'm gonna use it or not. And I'm gonna get everything else set up around here and get comfortable, get out of my boots. And so if you watch my all right guys so if you watch the trip out to providence canyon state park i had a four-man tent and a uh small little sleeping pad and i had this uh sleeping bag that you see here 
that four man tent I have had for 20 years and I tried to treat it to bring the waterproofing back up, but it didn't work. So what ended up happening was when condensation hit in the morning, the inside of the tent was just soaked and, and there was no there was no drying it out. It, so then I ended up having to pack it wet and stuff. And so I figure it's, it would definitely not hold up to any kind of rain. So I was on the prowl for a new tent. I got pretty lucky in uh, on Amazon Prime Day. I was able to pick up a tent for after some uh, rewards stuff I had, I, 20 bucks. And that's what this is. It's a Dear Fammy. I don't know what that means, but the uh, it's a pretty doggone nice tent. I got this new air mattress as well um, from the company Sable. I think you can read that there. It is, it feels very robust. It feels very comfortable. I've played with it at the house some. It takes a lot to blow it up. Uh, I tried to use the, comp uh, I tried to use the small compressor for blowing up bike tires that I have, and that didn't work. It just doesn't move enough air. So I ended up, you know, manually pumping up. It's no big deal. I need to get one of those bags that does it. But those are the main new things we're trying out today. Um, trying out the new air mattress, the new tent, and this camp chair right here, which is um, kind of the same as all those other camp chairs. You know, it's a knockoff. I think I got it from Amazon as well. <clears throat> I don't have, the cook system I have is the same that I had on that last trip. Hasn't been any changes there. The priority's just been in other places. But yeah, so we are in camp and we are set up. Oh. One of the last things here um, that I picked up a, a while back and uh, I've been going through and uh, tonight I'm going to probably finish it up, but the Fundamentals of Motorcycle Camping by Tim Collins and uh, illustrations by Amanda Zitto. It's been a really, really good book. It reads real easy um, and there's a <sighs> gobs of information in there. The amount of stuff that Tim's been able to pick up over the past couple years, it's its really impressive. So if uh, you're somewhat into moto camping, this book is phenomenal. It teaches you all the different ratings of sleeping bags and sleeping pads and how they work and materials for tents and different types. It's exhaustive. So I, I highly recommend that you can get it on uh, Amazon. Guys, I think that's going to do it for now. Um, I think I'm probably going to get, you know, set up to maybe hang out and read a little bit because I've got a little while before dinner time. And uh, maybe I'll come back to you for dinner. So this guy's just hanging out. So we're by the lake or the pond. Just kind of hanging out. Seems pretty cool. <laughs> never seen uh, a duck that looked like that, that color in the head. Ever. It's very happy about something. But you can tell from all the feathers and stuff, this is where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to quickly run you through my overnight kitchen setup. Very, very simple, uh, very lightweight stuff here. Got a canteen full of water. Typically, if I'm going to go on a longer trip, I have my Camelback, which I think has a three liter water reservoir. It's a big one. It's one from when I was in the military. Using one of those adventure uh, meals. This one is chicken fried rice, which I've never had, so hopefully it's not grody. Taster's Choice, uh, dehydrated coffee. I kind of like having coffee with every meal, so I have several of those. I got some hand sanitizer. Um, Keep that in a plastic bag because it goes in my tank bag and I don't want to get in anything else wet. Got one of those fancy titanium sporks that the wife bought me. A multi-tool. Uh, the Coleman Peak One. It's pretty decent. It gives a it gives a nice wide purchase for so for putting something on. A uh, frying pan or anything else. Of course, butane and the canteen cup and I can run with that with any basic meal I can make my coffee uh, any boiled water for anything really that's what it mainly does 
I can also do like, you know, if I want to do noodles or something like that, I can do that in there. If I'm going to go out on a longer trip, you're talking about having a, a pan at least, maybe even a pot. And that way you can make, you know, more varied meals and keep up your nutrition and keep up your vitamins. But for just a single overnight, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I've also got some combos in the tent and a beer in a styrofoam cup full of ice so that I can have a cold beer a little bit later on and uh, hang around the tent and kind of watch, I don't know, maybe watch a movie or, because uh, I do have Wi-Fi, <laughs> glamping, or, uh, or possibly do some reading. But I'm gonna go ahead and warm up some water and have some chicken fried rice and uh, some coffee and um, ooh, spooky looking. Just wanted to bring you in and tell you that's a damn fine cup of coffee and this chicken fried rice adventure meal. While possibly not gourmet, it is plenty edible. Good morning. So the uh, I slept all right. Had a hard time uh, getting to sleep, but I think that was just being not necessarily the sleeping quarters. Yeah, I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna head to the house. It was a good trip. I learned a few things. The sleeping bag is probably a little too tight for me. As much as I toss and turn, so my next one, um, I think I'm gonna get it down and get a bigger one, like wider that I can toss and turn inside of. I stayed really warm. Um, that wasn't a problem. I'm wearing like a, one of those wicking long sleeve t-shirts and then a pair of Adidas running pants and my socks. So I was clothed, but it got down to 50 something last night. Not, not, not cold at all. Like right now it is 54. So yeah, not too cold. I'll pack this up and All right, head to the house. So I'm going to give you kind of my final thoughts on this whole on this small camping adventure. First, it was perfect. The the weather was absolutely exactly what I wanted. I got nice rain, uh, not too hard, but hard enough to know that my tent is waterproof, or at least my rain flies waterproof. Um, I was sleeping right up against the edge of the tent, and I did not get any condensation or anything through the sidewall. So that was perfect. The, the temperature was cool enough that I, I feel comfortable going out in that tent, not quite knowing what's going to happen with the weather down here in the south. The Sable Air Mattress, which was one of the biggest things I was wanting to check out, was perfect. It slept great. I was very comfortable on it. Uh, it's wide enough. Yeah, it takes a little bit to blow it up, but honestly, it's just plain worth it. The I don't believe it offers much in the way of R value, though. It felt like the mattress pad was getting pretty cool, even though um, a fox squirrel. Uh, it felt as though the mattress pad was getting pretty cool throughout the night in a way that I didn't quite expect, but that's fine. It did not lose air. It didn't get like, uh, it didn't stretch anymore. I followed the directions when I bought it and blew it up and left it sit and then blew it again and then left it sit and then uh, deflated it. If I'm gonna go out to Moab or somewhere where it gets cold, I'll have to get a thermo rest or something with a little bit more insulation to it. The sleeping bag was my biggest problem last night. I love how comfortable it is. It's very warm. It holds the heat very well, uh, but not so much so that I'm burning up. And that's a big thing down here when when it uh, when it decides that it's time to get hot, it gets hot. So I like the sleeping bag, but it kept me up a fair bit just because I had you know tossing and turning, which I do a lot. So that kind of goes over uh, the tent and the sleep system. And that's really what I wanted to test with this trip. I wanted to check out to make sure that all of that is solid. So when I take it out, because I plan, uh, when I take it out to do the seat, I, I don't have any worries about the sleep system. I'm going to be fine. It packs small enough, it, it's light enough, and it all works exactly as planned. But overall, I would say that was a very cool, very laid back trip. And uh, 
And I, I think I'm going to do more of those quick camping adventures where I just run out somewhere. All right, everybody. Well, it's that time of the video. Remember, once a day, every day, give yourself a present. Stay safe. Have fun. I'll see you when I see you. Later.